Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu. And I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Are you looking for a great gift idea for somebody on your shopping list? Today, we will be looking at a It's a Fonzie's Dream Rod by MPC. Now this model is on loan from our very good friend James. However, you can see all of our available model kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. Hey, it's the Fonz Dream Rod. And somehow I think Fonz must have been watching the monkeys when he was dreaming of this car, because this is basically the repurposed monkeys mobile with a Fonzie figure. But hey, it was 1976, and Happy Days was one of the biggest shows on TV, so our good friends at MPC wanted to jump that bandwagon, or jump the shark maybe, considering that that's where the actual Jump the Shark term came from, was a Happy Days episode where Fonzie, in his leather jacket, jumps a real shark. <laughs> yeah, that happened. But anyway, here we have our Fonzie Dream Rod, loaned to us by our good friend James. Now actually, there is something interesting about that statement that I made where I was saying that Fonzie was dreaming of the monkey mobile, because incidentally, this actor here, or the singer, was supposed to play the Fonz in Happy Days. However, he wasn't available and Henry Winkler ended up taking the role. Now can you imagine Happy Days with the monkeys in it? <laughs> but at any rate, so here we have what's on the side of the box. You got a Fonzie figure, a custom half top, hollow vinyl tires, a blown Pontiac V8 engine. The model is nine and a half inches long. It has three rows of seats, custom front and rear, and it's 125th scale. Here we have the model as built by MPC back in 1976. And you can see this up top, very much like a 30s style Phaeton top. And then we've got the front nose here and the front three quarter engine view, as well as the rear and with the top down. So you can see that nice interior. And now we can take the lid off this vintage model kit that is a so cool. And let's just get that in there. So first off, we can see we've got our instruction sheet. Now this is all an original, so you won't really be able to find it like in our hobby shop or whatever but that's okay, we got this one to look at. You can always find these on eBay or something to that effect. There's our body, the interior, very long looking. And there's our chassis. There's Henry Winkler as the Fonz, at least one half of them. And then we've got our chrome components and white plastic parts, windshield, oh boy, that's in bad shape. <laughs> Then we've got the convertible boot, as well as the rest of it. Whoops, the dashboard, and all these goodies in here. Here's our instruction sheet, and this again unfolds this way, and opens up into a two-page brochure. To begin with, we have our engine build, which is the right and left hand side engine block with the transmission molded in place. Then we have our oil pan going underneath, the Pontiac front engine cover, as well as our exhaust manifold, cylinder heads, and valve covers. And there is a very flat looking valley pan up top, or intake manifold. And then we've got our distributor at the back. Next up we have our one, two, three, four, five piece blower. Actually a six piece because there's a cover in the front. And then this really wicked looking intake manifold that also has these little tubes and things up along the sides. Panel 3A and B show the front and rear tire assembly, which is basically about the same thing. The only difference is there is a hole in this wheel back and a plug in this one. So what you have is your chrome outer wheel going into your tire, and then you've got this backing ring as well as your wheel back. Here's our real exciting interior going on. And as you can see, there are a lot of seats in here. There is a bench seat at the very back. And then we have four buckets gluing up in here. Center console with the gear shift lever. Then we've got our steering wheel with the console. 
gauges that glue into our dashboard from the front tachometer up top and behind. And again, this has got the automatic pedal underneath. The chassis is fairly straightforward on this. There it is. You glue down your exhaust pipes with the mufflers into place and then the rear differential with the drive shaft all glue together and all go on the chassis. Panel 6 shows the back end of the car going together. There's the gas cap and then we've got our red tail lights as well as the drag parachute and the rear bumper and license plate. Up front we've got that famous Pontiac front nose and there we've got the underpan for it and our grills with the headlights. Panel 8 shows the two-piece Fonzarelli going together. However, I do have this resin one that I built before. And if you want to see how I painted him, check out this video up here. Panel 9 shows our interior dropping into the body from the top. And then we have the side windows as well as our windshield gluing in and a rear view mirror up top. Panel 10 shows these really wicked trumpet style exhausts gluing into this nice chrome backing plate which then gets glued right behind our wheel arches. Here's our blower top of our engine being dropped into place which will go on the engine down below and then we have our convertible top. As we move our instruction sheet down for panel 10 we can see that the wheels will go through the chassis using metal axles and then our engine drops into place and keep in mind that that blower is going to be dropping in from up top as well as the body and interior. Now here we have this nine and a half inch long body. And again, this is the monkey mobile, but I can't see the Fonz envisioning anything like this, considering that Happy Days is supposed to be taking place in the 50s. Like Fonzie's dream rod, I would imagine would be like some kind of custom, you know, maybe even like a 57 Cadillac that was all, you know, George Barrist or Gene Winfield or something like that. as a custom thing, you know what I'm saying. But uh, here we've got uh, some flash around the body. It's kind of rough, but you know, it does look good. The Pontiac emblems are in place. There's actually the Barris logo on the side, talking about George Barris there. Don't, it's not really picking up in my camera. Uh, very long quarter panels in here. And there's the back with the drag chute and the sunken in tail lamps, which will be put in place. Uh, nice detail up in here. Very interesting sheet metal work just to punch all that down. But it's got a very like Batmobile type nose if you look at that. I guess this is the closest to the 50s because in this side here on our panels it's all tuck and roll from one end to the other. The floor pan is quite nice. It's got a bit of carpet detail in there. There are mold marks up on the top. But these pins are where the bucket seats are going to drop into place, so maybe they'll cover some of them. And we have a gas pedal here. And of course that uh, brake pedal is hanging off of the dashboard. And underneath, nice and smooth, no mold marks, just a couple of pins to locate onto the chassis. Speaking of the chassis pan, here we are, and look at this. Very much like the old Pontiac GTO. And uh, very straightforward, you got the lower A arms, and then we're looking for our rear differential to pop into place. One thing I'm really puzzling on, this kit is from 1976. So the Monkey Mobile model I don't think was that old at the time. But look at all the flash on here, this is like really bad. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, this was part of the fun dimensions of General Mills at the time. Can you imagine a serial company making model car kits or, you know, being behind it, financing it? Here we have all the white plastic components which make up Fonzie's dream rod, including the Fonz himself and two components. And as you can see, there's not too much going on here. There's our top in two pieces again. Here's our bucket seats. The dashboard is really excellent on this. There's our wheel backs as well as the manifolds for our exhaust the rear pan and the front pan, uh, Pontiac front engine cover and Pontiac block. Transmission on this is really nicely detailed, which I'll show you in a minute. Rear differential and drive shaft, <laughs> cylinder heads, and our rear differential, the top component. So I'll bring these up into the camera. So to begin with, we have our engine block, both right and left hand pieces. And you can see that transmission casing right there. It's got a lot of detail to it. 
very nicely done. Now there are no frost plugs in the engine block, but they do have the actual transmission number stamped in here, which is again very cool. Again, for a simplistic model kit, there is quite a lot of nice detail in here. I don't think I've ever seen a differential case quite as well detailed, but again, very nicely done, as you can see there. Here we have our bucket seats, as well as our dashboard and steering wheel. And again, you can see the nice pleating on these seats. Looks very well done. Again, one piece mold, but no mold marks on the back. And then look at our dashboard with those holes for our gauges all to fit in. That's some really nicely detailed stuff, as well as our steering wheel looking quite accurate to the real car. MPC did a really good figure sculpt on the Fonz. You have every little detail of the zipper. The face looks good. Everything seems to be quite accurate. And like I said, if you want to know how I built my Fonzie, just check it out in the video link right up here. Here we have the chrome components for our Fonzie Dream Ride. Now some of them have popped off the parts tree, but here we have our front grills for our Pontiac. You can, I think it says GTO in there, not too sure actually. But really quite nice looking. And then there's all our different wheels. We got the Kragers in there and our wheel backs. Oh, the chrome on this is not good at all. It looks like they missed a whole section in here. Also, the chrome sort of has a aluminum look to it. But again, you know, what can you do? There's our blower. We've got some pipes up the top as well as, I guess, a radiator sort of thing going in there. Again, very basic. There's the gauges. So, yeah, our valve covers and oil pan, they don't look that great with this chrome on here. So, I don't know, maybe you can find a more recent release of the Monkey Mobile. Just build that and uh, stick Fonzie beside it. However, you do get this nice little bit in here. Mold it into the chrome, it says Fonzie's Dream Ride. <laughs> so, that's kind of neat. But again, uh, not too bad. I mean, the parts detail is good, but that chrome is sort of a minus. Here we have the glass for the Fonzie Dream Rod, and there's not much going on in it. We've got our front window, there is a bit of a split screen in the center of this. And then our side no draft windows, as well as our rear tail lamps. Now the one thing that is kind of a shame is that you can see we started to get some tire burn right in here. And that's when one of the rubber tires is sat on the glass. And there's a little bit of a chemical in here which ends up burning a little U-shaped ring in there, which is never any good. Maybe some polish will bring it out, a little bit of uh, very fine sandpaper. You know, I know how to do it, but it's not a good job. Last but not least, our Fonzie Dream Rod rides on these Goodyear tires. There are two different sizes, and of course you're going to have to cut those webs out of there. But the tread patterns match, which is very nice. And overall, they're not bad tires. And that completes a look at the old MPC Fonzie Dream Rod which was loaned to us from our good friend James. And if you've built this model kit in the past, please share it over on our Facebook page. We'd love to see the pictures, and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that great look at another moldy oldie model kit, the Fonz's Dream Rod. Tune in next week when we open up the lid on another great model kit. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Hit that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first to see it. And until next time, happy model building!